Hi, and welcome back to my sister's channel. I'm taking over this one here because these are my new skates. I decided to upgrade recently because I ordered a size too big for my Rainbow Riders a while back. So I got some like toe guards that match it. It's in strawberry pink. These are the Malibu Barbie Motsi skates. As you can see, the artwork is really pretty. It's, you're doing a good job sewing all sides. If I, this one says Malibu right here. Just, you know, I am still here. I'm just more of a videographer. So and this is my favorite part of the box. Like, you know, where it's, it shows Barbie <clears throat> lounging. Let's look at, please. Like, look at... That's such a cool package. There, you can see it. <laughs> As you can see, I'm pretty excited for it. So, these are, of course, these are a limited edition collab. Apparently only 5,000 skates were made. I'm not sure exactly. Side note. These are from the Roller Stuff Etsy shop, and she ordered them so they match the skates. We will now see if they match the skates. I paid $35 for them, by the way, with shipping included. And they're really cool looking. So, I'm also getting toe guards from Roller Stuff. Now, we look in what's in the box. All right, so. First impression, this is what they look like and how they come. So, look at that. So the tongue's already, like, a wall. <laughs> yeah, this is the nylon. This is a Powerdyne truck plate here. Power the trucks are in really sturdy metal right here. And so, they have these moxie gummy wheels that wheel... See. that Let, like. Okay, let's not really touch them well. and see how long they spin. Nice! Decent! I like the bearings. And the, the bearings right here look really nice. And they're the Moxie Gummy Wheels in True Blue, which is a limited edition color that comes with the skates. Wait, did they? No, they just their axle nut almost appears to be colored, but I kind of wish it was colored. These are the Powerdyne. This is the Powerdyne Toe Stop on here. I'm not a big fan of this Toe Stop, so I'm going to upgrade it later. We already ordered an upgrade. By the time, If I take a long time making the video, you're going to see that upgrade. I don't know. <laughs> Probably are. It's going to be a pink brake pedal that's going on these things. Now, I'm not sure if there should be a... If you can see right there, look, there's a slight gap there, but I think it should be fine. So you got where? Right here. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. I just... What... Let's see. Let's sew some specs that people may want to know. So right when you get these, these don't come with super tight wheels. In fact, you're going to want to tighten these. I don't know. Can you hear this? I hope you can. This sound means your wheels are too loose. This is very important. Your bearings will wear out and you'll feel out of control if your wheels are not tight enough. Just know that. It's very important. Um, I can't tell. I think there's a spacer. Generally, that's supposed to prevent this like little sound. I... Just can't see the spacer because these gummy wheels are so massive and it does another thing to look for in your skates it makes sure they have metal trucks and these ones appear to have medium cushions i think they're the orange i think they're medium yeah they're the medium cushions so they're gonna give you a little gift so these are something like an ada cushion which is pretty good and then obviously they have a nylon plate they're suede and they got that fluffy suede look because they're brand new and they haven't had anything happen to them that's abusive yet yeah, and I want to show you the lining here because it's very I'm hoping explosive. to bring it into frame. So this is the Barbie-specific lining. This is the stock insole, which we're going to be putting... Um, You haven't seen a video about them because I haven't had the time to make it. We're going to be putting the insole collab they did with that one FP insoles in there. Yeah. So, they, so we might take these out. That way there's enough room for the foot. The stock insoles. Mm -hmm. That's going to be one of our upgrades. Now I think the first skate, let's look at the second one. This is the one that has a moxie punch in it. Uh, I don't know if there's any rhyme or reason to moxie punches, to be honest. They're just there for aesthetics. But noticeably, only one of them has the moxie punch. Alright, remove the plastic. So this is the second skate, and this has... The only reason we're going to sew it, just so you know, like the pair. And look, a little special charm. It's close so to moxie. That matches there. really well. Mm -hmm. Only looks a little darker, which is fine. This... It could be more of a thing that these were initially meant to. Yeah, this is, like, interesting. Oh, that's cool. They come with oyster laces somewhere. We have the oyster laces on us, I promise. So they're the oysters. They're really long. Well, actually not that long. They're 90. We got 96 inch laces, and I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of scared they're going to be way too long. There's a crab tool. Not the best. Uh, this is a tip. I know this is going to sound super weird. If you have roller skates, get the BTFL tool off their website. It has this part on it that came with my skates. Or the Y3 tool. Or Y3 tool. Just don't you this can work it's not not gonna work i don't know how else to phrase that mm -hmm. so um now here comes the fun part we have to unscrew the toe stop which i don't oh, okay that, okay, that one's easier. not it's not even tight oh my god that's scary that's that's why you check your skates so here's see? why you check look see hand unscrewed that you're not supposed to be able to but what we're going to do really quickly should uh, i just re completely remove it yeah we have to we're gonna completely remove it because we're putting on toe caps i guess do we want to keep the box here while we work or do you want me to move it move it 
It also comes with an instruction manual, the owner's manual, which is really helpful. Keep in mind, these are suede skates. Suede has been known to be finicky material. I don't, I work with leather all the time and I don't think it's that bad. <laughs> we are out of frame, obviously. A little, do you want to move further into frame, sister? Let's go forward. So, it's okay. Yeah. If you're, as long as you're okay with your legs on the internet, we're good. <laughs> Leg right, reveal. Well, you're getting this for free, okay? Leg reveal. I'm helping on this end because I can reach the thing. So I'm going to... I feel like this is going to be also a setup video because you kind of have to set these skates up a bit. Mm -hmm. The trucks are very tight on those, which is good. They come tight, but they do have soft... They have, like, the medium cushion, so... Like that. I'm just going to sew people right away just so they know. If you want your toe stop to tighten correctly when you have toe caps on, this is the only way you should put them on. Otherwise, will not work correctly. And you will be constantly having to deal with your toe stop constantly unscrewing, which can be really dangerous. It can fall out. By the way, another thing that toe caps are great for, if you have your toe adjustable toe stops fall off a lot, doing it this way, you're not going to lose... Um, it, they're going to be attached to the toe cap, which is laced onto your skates. They aren't going to run away from you anymore. Okay. Do you want me to bring a better tool or do you want to use the crab tool? <laughs> a better tool, please. Anyway, my sister will work on both skates, getting the toe capped, and talk to you. I'll be right back. So, one thing you should also keep in mind is you need to figure out your preference for a while, how you want to adjust your toe stop. Like, in the beginning, if you can and you don't have a toe guard that you want to install, or you are low on money, so you can't get that anyways, you can just... Or if you don't... Oh boy, that just loosened on camera. That's yeah. why you check. I wouldn't call these ride ready just because I do need some adjustment. Like, see, look how that easily that just did that. So, I'm back with the best tool in the you skate just, world. <laughs> you try to keep it to the level of factory scented if you want to, but a lot of experts recommend upgrading your toe stop. And if you're a beginner, I recommend a more beefy one because this little power down one. I'm going to say um, specifically a brake pedal or a gumball if you want. If you're going with moxie skates, if or... you're all about that moxie stuff, they're actually from roller stuff. They sell this really cute star brake thing. That's, wow, look, that's greasy. Is that supposed to be greasy? I I mean, maybe that's why it's loosening. I was told they're a little greasy when you get them out. The they're box. greasier than my other skates. BTFLs are dry AF. <laughs> We're going to do a comparison, by the way. I don't know when. Probably once these are a little more broken on in both the skates. Mm -hmm. We're going to do official comparison after skating in them, and hopefully maybe we should get some footage of us skating in them. I would like if we could get footage of us skating together in them. That'd be cool. So, now that you have that done, obviously... You install your toe guard. I'm just going to recommend that if you're getting a skate like this, do preserve this. Get suede cleaner. Make sure you keep them in good shape. Another thing is, if you're wondering, like, oh, maybe I shouldn't get these because they're outdoor skates. Does it matter? Want to know why? A skate is dictated for its purpose when it comes to indoor or outdoor purely by its wheels. You can use these at the park and put a harder wheel for trick stuff, like a fun day. And you can also use fun days at the rink. They're actually really versatile, but I don't want fun days because... You have to buy extra bearings. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. I'm having a too much fun just spinning the wheels while you're working. So remember when you put them on that this, the concave area of your wasser presses against your plate is another thing. Like that? No, it has to be bolt under that. So there has to be a bolt first. Make sure there's a bolt. <laughs> ah, doesn't want to move. A greasy little thing. Get your slimy ass bolt and <laughs> try not to drink. Jesus Christ. It's just like, no, bitch, I'm not <laughs> staying. You can't make me. We're gonna have to really tighten these. Yeah, we'll have to see how tight they are. I see we're getting really long. Luckily, I have a lot of storage on this phone. I end up speeding up the footage, so if it sounds like I'm talking like a chickmunk. <laughs> so that's how you put it on. That's what I mean by having the concave part facing your plate. Screw them to whatever length you want. Generally, you stick them on the floor. And what you're gonna do is you want about four fingers. Oh my god. That's way too high. Uh, think you can use them that high? No. So make sure whenever you don't start screwing it in like I did until they are four fingers off or max five if you like yours a little higher okay. as a beginner. Ugh, this greasy ass bolt. It's giving me issues. The greasy ass. <laughs> little. Wet ass bolt. <laughs> no one said this was a keto channel anyway. <laughs> I need it are. higher up, okay? It's ironic that we're doing that. We'll talk about a Barbie skate. I know. I want you to play some of that Mickey Minaj collab and I spice music over it. <laughs> or what? If I was more, if I didn't fear the copyright gods, I would play a song that I would not recommend you show your children. We are going to put the stock laces on, but we already did give in to getting sparkly pink laces. And we have, my sister has sparkly light up purple wheels that are going to be used for the rink. So we'll see that. I'm going to um, 
we're going to lace them and we're going to see them on her with the toe stops and everything properly adjusted for a quick test in the hall. I'm going to have sticky wheel. A few moments later. I'll go a little more forward. Back, back, back. 360 here. So 360 view of the wheel, uh, mostly stock looking. Plenty of truck flexing with the way they came adjusted for her. So weird. Trying to do it like squat a little bit, almost. Oh. Uh, I feel scared. It's like being in rentals again. But yeah, we'll tighten up the ankles when we when it actually wants to tighten, but these don't wrench. <laughs> uh, for the record, I am going to switch up the wheel school roller ring skein Saturday, and uh, I put in my FP insoles like you saw earlier. Yeah. So they are gonna be comfortable. And look, my socks match. Oh, this tongue is crooked in there because um so you did my help to lace the second one to avoid that. Let's go to the hall. How is that dicking? Anyway, now skate into frame, sister. Sticky, sticky, sticky. Wow, C is so high off the ground, C is scared. <laughs> my gravity my center of gravity is not this high. What is this like to be tall? Damn, I wish I was that tall. As I say in all my videos. Enjoy the stock skates as you see them. What we really care about in these things are the boots, truck, and plate, not the wheels and laces. <laughs> or even the toe yeah. stops. So she's getting a little nervous. My sister is a slightly different skater than me, so this is a very different experience for okay, her. not as advanced. And what we have already learned is these laces are f mildly frustrating. We are definitely oh. going to use... Oh, hell no, I'm not trying to... Come We're either going to be using Bont or a different one for these. And I can see part of your issue on the top. You didn't over-under, you just... On ah. all of them. You only did on some... <laughs> I'm gonna switch the wheels out today. This is too sticky. These are so sticky. I don't think you can hear it, but we can hear it. That's not gonna bode well in the rink. Now, we are gonna do an outdoor skinning video eventually. Um, probably when it's not hotter than Sane's butt crack, but... Ooh, ah. Yeah. Too close awesome. together. Anyway, uh, you're probably gonna be seeing this... I wanna try that dance with the... This right here. Yeah, see only who's... Bal I think you have one strong foot balance-wise, don't you? This one right here. Um, that one's like a lot better for the belt. So anyway, that's the end of this clip. You'll see a rink clip probably a few minutes long. I'll be filming her in her Barbie look. Yeah. We love these. Now do the thing where you can bend your ankles again. <laughs> Later. So here is my sister at the rink trying out the skates. Here. So she's a different kind of skater. She's more of a stay on the ground skater. And this is her first time in suede for like seven months now or something. Somewhere about in that time. And I'm filming her while skating, which sometimes is bad, which is kind of hard. But I got lucky that the rink wasn't too filled today. So I didn't have to worry about filming other people that much. And the lollies, like, I don't know if it was the wheels or because of the lighting of the rink, but it's so hard for it to focus on these skates. So my sister can do bubbles in them, and that's pretty much it. And we also put on her light-up wheels and a set of derby spark laces on them for so they'll tie better. And they do tie a lot tighter. My sister found that out the hard way because she tied them way too tight in the beginning. And then she realized that and, chain and we loosened them up about halfway through. But yeah, these skates, she said they're very comfortable, but her feet were still cramping because... And she had to, like, think more consciously about her balance regarding her ankles because her ankles weren't held in place as much as that can be. And it was really... But she does really like them. And they're really cool looking. Although I feel like this video can't do their color justice. It just doesn't work. The camera won't pick it up as it is, if you know what I mean. Like, it doesn't look great. So, yeah. What am I going to say about these skates? Is they're good? And I want to recommend them to people, who, especially if you're a bit of a Barbie fan. It's kind of fun homage. But you don't need to get these versions of the lollies. You can get any lolly, and it would be about the same feel-wise. only difference is you won't have the Barbie inner lining. That's a sort of a thing. And, like, in general, you're going to have to relace them a few times while you're breaking them in, especially in suede skates. They're going to break in, and then those laces are going to be, like too loose or just not the right way and stuff and my sister can like turn this way but it's hard to tell she's turning when you're just filming the floor they have really good they have medium cushions which are really good for a lot of people they are nylon plates and i know some people aren't in love with those but they're far lighter which can make it more maneuverable especially for people who are lighter or just don't have generally as strong of a legs so goodbye <laughs>